Despite its tough loss last week, 4-1 Heritage resilient, eager to show this season will be a great one for the Pats. Welcoming in lapel, Heritage erupts in the second quarter. Casey Abbott bulldozes in as he rushes for over 100 yards on the day and two scores. Pats up seven when they regain possession. Kobe Meyer all day, he airs it out and hits Preston Fields into lapel territory. Then Meyer on the move leads Zeke Leichfield on a dime, a dozen yards for another score. Patriots, Patriots bounce back into the win column, 28 to 14. County rivals meet again in Monroe, unbeaten Adams Central against South Adams. The Jets taking control early. Keegan Bloom on the goal line dive. That touchdown makes it 7 0. Early second quarter, Jack Hamilton going to launch one deep. And he's got Trevor Curry behind the defense, a 16-yard touchdown. It's 14-0. And not long after that, Aaron Hershey with another sweet play for the Jets' offense. An 18-yard score on the ground. The Jets stay the dominant team in this year's ACAC, beating South Adams 48-0. Woodland ready to rock back at home against Jake County. The Warriors, Braden Smith, he's sticky in coverage, snatches an INT on the game's first drive. And it is Woodland first to strike. Drew Fleek on the keeper, and he's sleek with it, making one miss, storming downfield. Warriors up 6 to nothing to close the first, but Jay County answers. A.J. Myers in particular, the junior tailback, carries the load, rushing for one of his five of his five touchdowns on the day, every one of them needed in a 34-29 Jay County Road Dub. A battle of Eagles over at Turtletown. Busco takes on Fremont and the home Eagles defending their nest well. Brody Lawrence sends it to Gavin Hulsenbeck for the score and Busco goes to the half up 32-3. More of the same in the second half. Angelo Ian Nuccioli on the carry. Showing off some elite speed here. He breaks away down the sideline, and that goes for an 80-yard score. This kid with an unreal stat line on the night. Hoping I'm getting the name right. Ian Nuccioli takes it. 16 carries, 354 yards, six mm. touchdowns. Setting a couple Busco records in the process. Troy Busco wins 46-3. Leo football ready to put on a show in front of its home crowd. First offensive play for the Lions. Aiden Mons making one, two, three. Belmont Braves miss and he shifts into overdrive. Leo up seven to start, but the Braves hang tough in the first quarter. Christian Hatch, he takes the carry and races to the edge, breaks away from the herd. An impressive first down pickup, but the Braves offense stalls out soon after. Still, Belmont's defense hanging in there. Dylan Velez in on the sack, forcing a Leo punt. No matter, Lions ball back soon after. This time they drive. Kyler Decker deals to a leaping Brock shot. Then in the red zone, Brett Fuller, he's a bowling ball. Bouncing off a major hit from Job Hoffman. The balance for a magnificent score. Lions roar to a 40-0 shutout. And our final stop, Garrett, where the Railroaders take on undefeated West Noble. The Chargers charging out to an early lead. Drew Yates tossed to Seth Pruitt in the flat. He takes it in for the first touchdown of the night. Garrett looking solid in the first half. A goal line plunge coming up for Cam Rubel, and he is across to tie this game up at sevens. West Noble will get those points back later on. Pruitt into the end zone for his second touchdown of the night. He'll finish with four scores. West Noble puts this game away in the second half, staying perfect with a 34-15 win.